Okay, I've got all six of the slats hooked up. And all six of the cables here. And one thing I forgot to mention, um, you can put this in test mode without turning the key switch on. Only thing you have to do is flip the switch down. You can see the green LED lights up. And the reason for that is um, the, in test mode it just runs off two AA batteries <clears throat> which is not enough current to fire an electric match so you can you know run test without having the key on um, so while you're setting up for the show you can take the key out of the system to where nobody can turn it on you know take the, take the key out <clears throat> and uh, nobody can turn the system on when you're down range you know loading your mortars uh, as you can see, none of the LEDs are lit right now. I don't know if you can really see that where it's so bright in here. And that's slat one. Still nothing lit. Two, three, four, five, and six. I don't have anything. I'm going to put some jumper wires in a few of the slats so that you can see uh, how the continuity test works. Uh, a reason why I got 100 foot cables is it also says in NFPA if you're going to fire a show completely electronic that you need to be 75 feet away you know from where the mortars are so I went ahead and got 100 foot cables and that takes care of the, uh, the 75 feet plus that gives you a little bit extra cable to, to uh, play around with okay I went ahead and set up the slats this is slat number one and as you can see, I've got one Christmas light plugged into the first queue of it. And then this is the second slat. And it's kind of hard to see. We've got two Christmas lights. This is the third slat. i got three Christmas lights. And the fourth one, there's four. The fifth one, there's five. And then the sixth one, there's six. And this is just to represent um, uh, a good electric match or... <coughs> You know, a good uh, talon igniter or, you know, whatever you're going to use to ignite your fireworks. <clears throat> Alright, first thing I'm going to do is flip the switch on to check continuity. <clears throat> And then we'll turn it to the first slat. You see we have one green light right here. That shows that we have uh, you know, continuity to the first cue on the first slat. We'll turn it to the second slat. And it's showing that I don't have continuity on that. Okay, now on the second slat, <clears throat> we've got continuity on the first two cues. On the third slat, we've got continuity on the first three cues. we we'll turn this one back off. We got four on the fourth slat, five on the fifth slat, and six on the sixth slat. So we've got continuity on on uh, which electric matches that you know we have in there, or Christmas lights, you know, represent an electric match. All right, now we can turn the key, give it power, arm it, flip it up to fire, and turn it to slat one. Now if I hit this button right here, the Christmas light is going to light up. <clears throat> I'm try to get an angle of... It's kind of hard to see. Here's cue number one. And then if I go to the second slat, there's cue number one and cue number two. And then on the third slat, there's cue number one, cue number two, and cue number three. And then on the fourth slat, there's cue one, two, three, four, 
And on the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth slat, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can fire them just about as fast as you can, you know, switch from button to button. Once again, I'll, I'll um, in the narrative of this video, I'll put a link to where you can go and uh, see the instructions on how to build and where to get the parts. Um, you can find the parts cheaper if you look around the internet. Just go to the website that they have there, figure out what part number you need, and then you can look at different websites, you know, do a search for it, and uh, come up with a, a cheaper website to buy most, most of the parts. Um, I found that it was easier where I could get 90% of the parts from Radio Shack, so it was easier just to order them all from from the same <clears throat> company. It just it seemed like it was a whole lot easier. You know, one of the biggest expenses is uh, the cables. I mean, you've got 600 feet of cable. So um, that's where most of your cost is. And another thing you'll notice is the uh, speaker terminals themselves are pretty expensive. And where um, you got to have 144 cues for this system, which you don't have to. You could make this system with only three slats, and it would be... Uh, a lot cheaper on you. You just have to get three cables. You just have to put uh, one, two, and three. You know, here you wouldn't have to have all these wires going to this and the cables, nor would you have to have the three slats. And then you could expand it, you know, as you got more money. I'm going to turn the system off. And I'm, uh, if you notice the instructions, this is a really important thing. <clears throat> The instructions on the website that this guy has wrote up, it leaves the part out that every cue has to have a diode on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of the slat boxes and show you the inside of it. Because uh, you have to have a diode for each cue. Where this system uh, uses a, a common ground, you know, for the whole system not to short out, you have to have a diode on each cue. So, for this system, you'll have to have 144 diodes. And they're only about 30 cents a piece. It's not really expensive. It's just time consuming, you know, soldering them in. Um, you don't really have to know how to solder that well. I kind of picked it up as I went along. Uh, you can do it a whole lot neater than what I've done, especially the wiring on this system. I mean, it can be a whole lot neater than what it is. Like I said, this is the first attempt at building a firing system. Um, it's it's pretty neat. I could uh, go back in and clean it all up, you know, pretty easily, and make it you know real nice and neat, which I plan on doing in the future. I just haven't had the the time, but I'm gonna open up one of these boxes and let you see the inside. Okay, I've took the screws out of one of the slats <clears throat> to show you what they look like on the inside, and you can see. It's it's not the best wiring job. Like I said, it could have been a whole lot nicer. But you can see that there's a diode on each negative lead. So there's 24 diodes. And then you can see all the wires coming out of the, the back of the DB25 uh, connection. Alright, that's my firing system. If you got any questions, I may be able to answer them. <clears throat> if not, uh, if you go to pyrouniverse.com, uh, go to the forum section, scroll down to firing systems, and then at the top, there will be a forum about, a forum about firing systems. It's a sticky, it says sticky out from it. Uh, there's about 180 different articles or uh, posts, and there's some really good posts. Uh, that's how I, I learned pretty much how to build this system. <clears throat> so if you got any questions, you can post a comment and ask me. Like I said, if I can uh, help you, I will. If not, uh, I may be able to uh, put you in touch with somebody who can. Thanks a lot.